All right, there, this is Nikita, and welcome to this hopefully very short video. So, whilst pondering solving audio issues, which I think I've solved, but another solution was working with Bluetooth, which I might still do. However, I don't have enough USB ports on my system with enough bandwidth over that USB bus to properly use a USB Bluetooth dongle. So, I thought, what's the solution? Well, buy an add-in card with Bluetooth. that used to be available with a nice specific antenna on the exterior of the computer, which you could extend with an extension cable, which you might have to make yourself, but you get the idea. Basically, just use proper Bluetooth on, well, the PCI bus then, at that time. However, I'm going to, uh, well, as you can see, a website, there are quite a few Bluetooth solutions, and I clicked on the first one and thought, that looks quite nice, that looks quite spiffy, so let's click it open, because what do I see here? A USB port, and then looking here, I see basically a weird connector. I thought, well, perhaps this device uses power, right? Which does happen from time to time. And uh, that's interesting. F USB 1, F from, well, front, rear, right? Because there's the R USB. I don't know. Let's go to the website. And it states, very nice. Right, and Bluetooth 5.0, that's wonderful, however, how it's hooked up is the question. So, basically, uh, click one of these cards open, right, nice logo on the back, and uh, then enlarged it, and here's that photo properly. So, basically, it's a... Uh, a laptop type of add-in card. Let's just leave it at that. With some nice connectors on the back on a PCB, which is, well, PCI Express 1 and apparently USB, because, well, you can go to the manual and then quickly take a look at what's stated. Installing the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Simple enough. Right, antenna connectors. Multiple, missing the S here. And we've got a USB connector. And, well, what is this? Because, install the, right, connect one end of the USB cable to USB connector on the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Connect the other end of the USB cable to the F USB connector on the motherboard. Okay, so what I'm suspecting is happening here means I can't use this specific card because apparently, and let's scroll through, right? Nice external antenna. And here you can see it properly, right? A separate Wi-Fi driver and from a Bluetooth driver, as could be seen right here. Right? Bluetooth driver and wireless Ethernet or Wi-Fi card driver which is that add-in card. My, my suspicion is the following. I believe either there are three scenarios, and the first one is the most likely. The Wi-Fi card uses the PCI Express connector to connect to the system, while the Bluetooth section of either this card, which I doubt, most likely this chip somehow, or a combination of both, uses the USB bus. 
So basically, this means that you're robbing, let's say it like that, using one of the USB buses that's already in your system, like is specified here in this manual. Now, it might be a little bit different, right? That photo might be a little bit different. Perhaps there's just some control circuitry used via the USB bus, but why would you do it that way? And perhaps it's the other way around, although I doubt that. This is just basically a very interesting converter card and adapter for at least a Wi-Fi and perhaps even a Bluetooth. And I've seen this in laptops where the camera that's built into the screen and also the Bluetooth that's built into the machine is basically just run over USB, which is interesting to say the least. For the webcam that's built into the screen, I can understand that. That's compatibility and that's basic, well, rapid manufacturing because we're using a standard instead of something special. That's fine, that's dandy. However, with this, I would have expected something different. So, are all cards like this? Because there's a little bit of a misleading misnomer and a rapid development by, well, in this case, Gigabyte, to put a product on the market and sell it for, well, at this store, uh, this specific store for 43 euros. And just, well, use the Aorus, I think, branding, right? Let's uh, see that, right? That, I think, is from Gigabyte, or at least something like that, to make a, well, to make a profit, which is fine. Also might just be that there's not enough bandwidth on that PCI Express 1 slot to do more than just the Wi-Fi, which I doubt personally. So I don't know what's going on here. I do know that this thing is not... Well, not good for my situation because I'm facing a bandwidth issue on the US buses, USB buses. Multiples and I've got multiple cameras and that's a lot of data to pull into the system. Which basically means that if I were to use this specific card, I would have to plug in another, well, PCI Express card for that USB to plug this in. Third scenario, which I doubt highly, and I'll tell you why, is that this is just used for power, so 5 volts, 500 milliamps, something like that at least, 500 milliamps per port could be done. Now, why I doubt this is the following, because that second connector is here. Normally these, these connectors, like stated, that come out of the motherboard, right? These pinouts that you plug into are supposedly two, two USB ports like this, which basically means they're using one on this card and then exposing the second one for your usage via the card, via this connector. So I find this a little bit interesting um, well, not just a little bit. I find this very interesting and it might be for you as well. Just to realize that sometimes it isn't what it seems, right? Not all is, well, connected via this card edge connector, the PCI Express, right, to the motherboard. You do need that USB, which also perhaps means that you don't need to use the Bluetooth. By not connecting this, you might just have Wi-Fi, although I'm not certain of that. Not saying that, right? We've got some technical specifications here. Go look at that if you're interested in that. Manufacturing-wise, this is, for me at least, very interesting. And thanks for watching. So, 
This Nikita Nets thing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye bye.